95. First one at 95, a little bit in. In there for a strike. Talking with Max Meyer, a little under the weather. It's hockey dude. For, for every fifth day that he pitches, <laughs> but to get to that. Forward to talking with him in the bottom of the third, and uh, at some point, hopefully very soon, we puck ready with a 1-2 pitch. Avi back onto the track. He turns it off to play. Ren Hifo. And Puck able to get ahead of Rehin. Uh, stand up double. Including a home run right down the right field line off of Jesus Loser. Tried to hold up but could not. And this center fielder with a really good arm. 0 oh, 2. Puck gets him with the sweep. A bats from the right side. You can see right handers do a little bit better against him. Big pitch for Puck to, will be that fastball inside. We've already seen him thinking about that pitch, then he can go back out. Strikes here to Mike Trout, who fouls it straight back. And that's down, that's spinning, or a change up. One ball, one strike. Right there. All day long. All day long. Well, leads away from second. Tried to go upstairs again. But, but to get him out, that's the best way to do it. You see the spray chart up top. In the air, center field. Jazz was way back, and he's going to have Jazz to... Jazz was playing that deep. He's got that good speed, which allows him to go back. But we know that he is in the swing. He just was playing super, super deep. Here he's with three strikeouts, and Puck starts him out with... DJ Puck, he really hasn't thrown any up in between starts. Uh, was very good. Puck is going to have plenty of weapons. First Bell gives it a courtesy look. Field fights it off, gets a base hit. Trout on his way to third. He'll get runners on first and third with just one out. Takes a sweep around the inner. Something about this Angels team, and you brought it up yet. Here's a bouncing ball towards short. That's one. They flip it. Field. Nice job turning it over, but just not hit hard enough to complete the double pour in this lineup. Back in the big leagues, Sano for the first time. If you think about the balls that have been hit hard in the ninth inning home run from Brian De La Cruz. Payoff pitch coming. And taken just a little bit low. That'll bring out Mel Stottlemyre Jr. 27. The results are not good. Uh, you talked about the 27 total pitches, but 60 points higher than the lefties do. So this is going to be a little bit of a struggle for him today. He got to ice his hamstrings early this season. He's been out there. Runner to score, but that was the first scoreless outing from the Marlins bullpen. And two out. Moves his feet. Fastball. All the way. Two and two. A lot of people made fun of uh, Ron. Won three games since he got his team together after getting away from you. Baltimore won 100 games last year. That's a good. Three, two. And Puck goes to the sweeper to get the strikeout. Leaves a couple. Angels get two in the first inning, but nine more cracks at it for the Marlins. Left Jazz in center, Tim Anderson at short with Avi Vidal Brujan. And Roxon fires his first pitch of the afternoon in there at 92 miles an hour. One and two thirds, six hits, five run. And he wasn't around long, just the inning in 260 went for strikes. Mm. It was to arise. Thought about it, but held up, and it's. Especially with these pitch clocks. There's a violation. 3 2. And he gets a rise on strikes. Boy, can he play. Drury, Sano on the right side. And for the Marlins today, one for eight in the series. And Marlins saw a lot of the changeup last night from that changeup. Uh, he's back to the way he pitched two years ago in Knox. There's that change piece. And there's that swing. <laughs> change ups. <laughs> they one, swing two, it about three, four four times. One, two. Yeah, somewhat of a day off for uh, Jake Berger today. Did on the other side. Takes a strike. Strike. Oh, there's a nice curveball right there. Homecoming for. Our coverage starts at 3:30 tomorrow. Two. Chase the change up. Jay Puck back to work. Top two. Missing inside with ball one. Los Angeles inside 2 0. Looks like that's. Check down it. 
goes after it lines it right at Jazz step watch and stream every out of market game check out the Marlins on your device as they may very well be doing right now and yeah, velocity up today for puck yeah. yeah you want to be right on Neto takes the sweeper down and in I pop Emily and friends in town out of Miami Coral Park in the stands this week too but AJ Puck gets the strikeout to quiet Enough off of it to get Neto out in front of it fork ball back to the top of the order Ren Hifo grounds one to second base arise makes the play for the Marlins against starters and against relievers they've been able to get we'll get it started in the bottom of the second inning and he takes Here's that home run you were just speaking of. Right center. Grounds that one foul. But nowadays, up to 100 miles an hour, and they have three different guys. Ooh, that change up. Four batters, four strikeouts for baseball live on the Valley Sports app. Your home for young season. Grounds one to second base. To get him back to that all star caliber. And he said it's really about Trut's type of power he did back then. Right back to Sandoval, who works a one, two, three, second. And windows closed this afternoon. Angels a two nothing lead. Top of the Taylor Ward coming up against AJ Puck. An 11 pitch. Second coach Mel Stottlemyre Jr. Down in front of DLC. The leadoff base hit for Hicks. Uh, split fingered fastball didn't do a whole lot. Just kind of floating. I don't know if I, every time it seemed like they got a guy on first. You see that big lead that Hicks has over it. Trout pops it up. See if I'm down. Yeah, now with the disengage. Inside. Afraid to throw over there. He'll just. Something that uh, Skip Schumacher said that he. Another base hit for Ward. This one down the line. One out here in the third inning. Yeah, that was a sweeper. Yeah, that. And Puck pitching in stress once again. In the game to start thinking about loading bases and I, mean, I don't know if you want to put that pressure on him to load the bases. Fastball in there for a strike already in the first six games of the year. Ground ball and it gets through Bruhan into left field. That will score one. Got to get the glove down. Trail left foot. If there was a slide by a rise by where he's at right now, he really can't see him get to that. Few afternoon games to sift through today, but hard at work as always. And the look, yes. Well, they. Uh, Goes down as a two base error, by the way, on Bru. Grounded foul. Hit hard, but foul. Of course, the Marlins. Hyundai presents our Marlins Live pregame show tomorrow on the air at 3 30 for a four feet. Awful lot of innings, and with Puck at 60 pitches here in the third, he desperately needs one now. Inside quiet looks like pucks gonna have to stay out there for a while but To end the two run first angels with two more runs here in the third Debut play into some of the control issues here Grounds it toward the camera well third base. opportunity to show what he can do Look out. Rattles the season was the number three prospect across all of it. In on the hand, slowly rolled. Anderson fields, throws. Third inning. Paul Severino, Rod Allen in the broad. Taking the time, how you doing today? Like could have helped him out a little more. Uh, just kind of again working for him in the past. Something he's going to need moving forward for sure. Have the weapons. He's He's got two different fastballs. 
He's got a good sweep and breaking ball. He's got that good, done a good job against our guys in doing that so far. I have noticed, Mel, that everything's kind of predicated on that that glove side fastball at the top. You and, and Skip would like uh, to see him work a little deeper into games. I'm sure we'll get there, but a couple of starts. Round, his misses were really good. I thought it was one of his better games. And he had a lot of really good misses in that game. And a lot of really. And how about Max Meyer? Uh, is they're going to take a look at Patrick? Would like from him, and where do you want to see him moving forward? Great outing. You know, I was definitely not afraid. And uh, I love athletic. He's tenacious. He wants to learn and get better. You know, and the leads handle himself really well. Maybe you just answered the question for me. For you in his first outing. Well, you know, anytime he gets in trouble, in the world of, in in the past, really hard to teach. So. That movement profile is is because big picture a weekend. Well, we need to get better. <laughs> we need to get game, and that that's not a good situation for any of those guys. So they haven't soon. Okay. Our thanks to Marlins pitcher coach Mel. They go hand in hand when yeah. you go through a week like this. People don't game. It's a humbling game too. Yeah, for those pitch, so they are grinding away, and they're all doing. Rise slashes that one foul. Marlins trying to get that leadoff double. Lead. Those pitches in the second half of the season, he got goes the other way there, but just foul. Inside, look out. The fingers that uh, those last two fingers look the bat. Maybe uh, soften that blow a little bit. Yeah, a little Patrick Sandoval. We need a big hit right here. A big, big two out here. Might be the indication as to how the hand is doing. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Fingers, wrists to a hitter. Boy, that's always. It was. Line off the glove of Drury and into center field, a base hit. Which and he got one upstairs. They wanted it upstairs and he got it, and that's a hell. Third. Cut on and missed. Elevated fastball there for pitch to hit. Uh, if Ground ball right side. Nobody's home. Base hit. Berger. Advantage of getting fastballs up in the strike zone after both guys. Lead off double from Avi Garcia. Well, if you're four consecutive strikeouts to start the day for Sandoval. <laughs> Sometimes I think. Struck him out. Marlins get a couple. 73. He told me he's well aware of the success he has here at home. More infield hits here in Miami than he did when he was up. Something will happen. You can ask for. <laughs> That's really all you can ask for. Unlike the ballpark that he was playing at in Chicago. In. After the two run score in the top of the third inning. And the Marlins got those right. On their side. He went around to strike it. Was a good one. Right to that back foot of Neto. Luis Renjifo at double and 100 <laughs> times on the road trip. We'll have Jeff Nelson with us in St. Louis in New York. There's a strikeout. Gets in front of Aaron Hicks. Who struck out into the ball. Like it had some of the zone at the top, but. You're right. Looked like it had a little bit of the strike zone there. Flip side of that is if you do run and you are successful, they'll just walk. Consider that. There goes the runner. Trout fouls it away. Longest home run in this building by an opponent. And two runner goes in the air out toward right and playable for the guy who was tops on that plus home runs in a game since Brad Miller a few years back. Nothing going to stop him from doing that. I don't tend to agree. And that's who Jazz grounds one to first base. Sano feeds sent Kevin Gosman, Blake Snell, twice the Cy Young winner, Lucas Giolito. Stoudemire Jr. right now. Inning and a half or so. He did a pretty good job. I mean, kept his team in the game. Ooh. And it's outside. So Anderson works here in the first week of the season. So if you look at hard hit rates and you. Ground ball to second base. Not so good innings. First inning, 34 pitches he faced set inside to this right handed lineup. So Birch Smith here for the Marlins getting the ground ball left side Anderson comes around it jump throw and he goes to the right foot turns and jumps 
I like Derek Ball in there for a strike. Nothing in one. Spin last year was top five in hard hit rate, slugging in OP. They, like they rub it up and down the bat, right? Slow roller to third base, Bruhan. And a lot of times when you take a swing like that, if you're Drew, you're already taking one step. Down. Two of the three walks today for A.J. Puck. Four innings of one day. That goes Jazz leaping, and he can't make third. And now you check on Jazz out there in center. Wall, he knows where the wall is. Now he elevates, and he doesn't jump into the Waved off the training staff. A really good pitch right here. You got to make... Isn't that the way it was going to work out? Came back with a fastball that he tried to get inside. A couple of cranky broadcasters talking about the strike zone, but when it changes four games, they score in one inning, but they don't stop. And they just take their schedule. I just had to pack <laughs> you right to do field. a lot of packing too, buddy. Avi makes the catch. Throw is up the. That the Angels had when they would be on a trip where they'd have to travel a long way lineup or not. Sharply hit, Bruhan there makes the tilt tomorrow. The home opener for the Cardinals. Bruhan takes the strike. So that means Luis Renjifo out of the ball game. Games and at bats have been limited as he gets back to full strength. And it's Joe Adele. Double homer, RBI. Great day for. Uh, for a variety of different reasons get around his family and of course alleviates stress that next trip to LA though he'll have it oh he changed up right there a couple of strikeouts in the inning seven you better get out of the house during the day <laughs> <laughs> second inning of war that is a Fair ball, foul yeah, ball, walking six strikeouts against Durham. So I'm going to have a couple of at-bats to try to extend that thing today. 3-1. And Smith walks Hicks, who's... DH this afternoon. Inside. Back lead, subscribe to Miami Miked Up, presented by Celsius. We're in there for a strike. Marlins president of baseball operations, Peter Bitt. Marlins personnel for most of the summer. Ward, fly ball right center. Out. He gets there to make the catch and back inside. Lone Depot Park, Paul said for the Marlins. Down six to two. Couple of 75 pitches, so maybe don't oh, hear our analysts talk about that all the time. Ground ball to short. 24. Sign up for the Marlins Home Run Rewards Program. I'm trying to think if we've really hit a ball hard today. But other than that, the contact has been real soft. The exit velocity, not what you do. <laughs> the ground we work ball. well together. There's ground ball. I don't like him. Yeah. I'm like that. Cats considers hard hit. Right. Marlins have one, two, three. Because usually you get 95. So he's been squaring the baseball up. He really has. Coming. Into right and down for a. It was a change up at about 78 miles an hour in the exit velocity. Hicks a little upset at himself that he didn't catch him. He has in a lot of his starts. He's really been able to command the fastball. Pretty efficient, right? Where they throw you that fastball, but you're waiting for that fastball, really. Catcher Logan O'Hoppy and Nick Fortes today. That just as the pitch clock expires, Sandoval delivers, but it's low. And he'll call for Cisnero. He of course won the derby three times. So hey, make a 113 ERA, a 192 this year of the Pirates bullpen and this Angels bullpen. Certainly a good sign early on. 
Anderson swings and misses, and we will head. Big break on that. Over to third. Down. Could be another extra base hit here for Sano. Pitch on back-to-back -back offerings, the second of which. Uh, oh, Hoppy down the right field line and foul. I remember, for lack of a better word. It's good that he's gotten another opportunity, though. 31-year-old out of Georgia. Drafted in game at A-ball, Bradenton, in the Pirates system. Washington bouncing this one left side. He knew he was going to get another fastball. Good balance. And down the left field line, long run, De La Cruz. And the smiles that you can put on someone's face, man, just by giving them a. Goodness gracious. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. To the sinker and missed. So, Mel Stoudemire Jr. will. For joining us on a wired Wednesday. We'll talk. Whack at it. And it's off the base of the wall. One run is going to score. He's walked a couple of batters, and the pitching coach goes out to visit. Is it 35, Paul? It is 34, yes. Javi going back, twisting on the track, make. And now the Angels take a 9-2 lead here in the... These guys are grinding out at bats. And trust me. 1-1. One, one. Tapper. And Emmanuel looks at the runner at third. Gets the out. Brings up Mike Trout, who singled and scored in the first. That one misses inside. One ball and one. Now the way that the Wolf Emmanuel... Just to keep some arms fresh, Marlins have a day game. Interfield Jazz started back, now comes in and recovers in time. He's picked up a three game sweep. And now it'll be off to Avi to shortstop for Neto. That's yeah. with the high school kids and everything else. And you understand why they're doing it. Strong arm as you get a look at the way they're defending Neto. And Neto better be careful. He's yeah, he's... That's why you play him up the middle, I guess. And they must be going off of data from last year. You know, years ago with the shift, you'd see a full-on shift on a guy who's got... And you have to have your feet, which aren't uh, not at the moment, but they will be. Both catchers doing that. Line and caught. And Drury and Sano has back to the wall and a home. You want to use, but uh, he swung straight up. Almost like a... And take a look at the swing. Straight up. So a 10 spot for the Angels. Let's check in with the guys downstairs. Craig and Nelly. What's going on? Gentlemen? All right, thank you. some cold weather because Thursday is going to be here. cold. It's going to be in the 40s yep. for them. Whip. Fastball, fastball like you should. And it helps to maybe get a double play right here. You're open, you're not staying closed. Sometimes it'll either go that direction or you'll see that reliever mentality. And he took that, I think, in his first. All right. Don't want to, don't want to work you too hard. I know you got the postgame show coming up. Wait, wait, I'm, no, I'm kidding. Oh, oh you're no, still listening? You, okay. You good. had your nice comment the other day, so you would hit I, your quota. <laughs> Berger. Fouled away left side, 0 1. One error. Out toward left. And it's using White Sox in Chicago postponed. That affected by the rain. Bell out towards center and Moniak. Foul territory. Sean with a couple of defensive changes. Jonah Bride comes in at third base. Bell. Mickey Moniak takes upstairs. Oh, we'll get one more crack at extending that bull. Gets the call low and away corner. And Marlins not getting. He'll play seven pretty much uninterrupted. That's up the middle of base hit. Past the. Just past. Wow. How about that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to
to third. That's Bride, Ruhan, and Be <laughs> nhớ bài hát hoa sứ nhà nàng ha để coi cái tóc <cười> ô về nhìn ô về nữa má <cười> Sao bước qua Hello chú Nhìn con dữ vậy Này là Thì ta sẽ ngồi lên đây đưa cái giò lên đây Đây chiều mát mà tôi thấy chạy xe đạp nữa không Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn